thousands of miles to separate Peru and Belize. But Ambassador Jorge Roman Mori says that in this day and age, much more connects us. The boundaries now are, are physical. They are there. But uh, in, in the days we are now, there's no, there's no such thing. I mean, we are only one people. Uh, the, the communication is so, so fast in, in, in this time. It's so uh, at, your, at your hand, in your hand. You, you can do it through a phone. So the relations can not, not necessarily go through this formal process, but we need to speed them to, to faster get um, results from what we are going to look for. As I said, first we need to establish which are the focal points, and after that uh, start working a program to learn from each other. And that's the point of the new agreement of cooperation and friendship signed between Peru and Belize in Belize City. Ambassador Mori and Minister of Foreign Affairs Wilfred Elrington outlined some of the key areas in which the countries will soon be working together. It depends on which strength one country has. It doesn't mean that Peru has all of the strengths because this is a bilateral agreement. That means we too can learn from Belize. For example, let me say just one topic the way you manage your tourism around the magnificent uh, cultural monument you have in the city. We do have two one, but maybe we can learn from your, uh, your side how to manage, or as the minister spoke, we can uh, provide more information of Peru's gastronomy, just to say some basic things. But of course, this goes further than that. The idea is to, um, to work in cooperation agriculture, for example, which is so important for this country, that we can share experiences in, in crops, in how to manage water. It's, it's so, uh, so vast, the, the fields that, that we can explore. We can have agreement whereby we send off people who are working, for example, in the hospitality section, tourism, to study in um, Peru or we can have people from Peru come to assist us in the agricultural sector, or maybe in the tourism sector, or in the teaching area, um, we can get assistance in trade, aid, development, grants, the whole gambit of cooperation that exists between countries, some of which are more developed and some of which are less developed. And in the case of the Samuel Haynes Institute, that cooperation will lead to sweet music as the ambassador turned over a set of 20 kenas, the traditional flute of the Andes. This is part of the promise that he had made when he first came to help us with some musical instruments. And these are really indigenous Peruvian instruments. They are wonderful, very similar to the flute, except that they are played in a different way. I certainly can't play them. But once played very well, they are exceedingly beautiful. Aaron Humes reporting for News 5.